Here at Berkeley, for over 75 years, we use science, research, and technology to help develop some of the best, most innovative fishing tackle products in the industry. We look at baits that maybe are in the tackle box that, that are great baits, but how can we enhance them to make them catch more fish? That's really the story of Berkeley. So when they asked us to develop a product for noodling, well, challenge accepted. When we first started developing this product, we had a lot of questions. What are some of the day-to-day -day challenges that a noodler will have? What happens if it's not a catfish? You don't want to end up like the Turtle Man. You remember the, the Turtle Man? You've never seen Turtle Man? How do, how do I design a bait that we don't even cast? What is noodling? The first thing we had to do is understand and study the art form that is noodling. What can we do to build a better product for the noodler? So we, we sat down and we started watching some noodling videos on, on, on the internet, and it was interesting. Okay, ready? Where is he? Where's the noodler? Oh, oh, did, did it bite him? Oh yeah, they do. They, they bite down with tremendous force. Wow. The other guy's got no shirt on. One of the team members asked, like, what happens if it's not a catfish that bites your hand? I mean, what if it's a snapping turtle? What if it bites your fingers off? Then we started thinking, what if we prototype the mechanical hand? I think we might have something there. What if these fish just grabbed on and you know you couldn't get back out of the water? So one of the dangers is you're, you're fighting a 50, 60, 70 pound flathead catfish. I mean, these things can pull you down. So we thought, what if we integrated a flotation device onto a glove? It's just not fast enough. So after studying noodling and trying a bunch of different prototypes, I think the answer was clear. Let's take our most effective product line, the biggest product in the history of Berkeley, Berkeley Powerbait, and let's take that to noodling. The Berkeley Powerbait noodling glove. What did we want this glove to be? Obviously, you know, apply the Powerbait attractant. Before we put that Berkeley stamp of approval on it to get that attractiveness to the cap, we had to make sure it was durable withstand the fight of a catfish. It has to be really strong, Kim. There's gonna be, like, that's oh the catfish. So here in Spirit Lake, this is where science meets fishing lure. So when we tested this glove, we had to take it to the fish. We had to let the fish have the final say. And they said yes. The adrenaline rush, uh, to hear that thunder under the water, it's just a boom, you know. Uh, it can't be explained, it must be experienced. When Berkeley reached out to me about this field test, the power bait noodling glove, you know, I thought it was a joke, but I got to thinking about it. As a kid, what did we do? We went straight to the section in Walmart and we got the power bait. They may have cost more, but them bass would not let go of them. So I thought, this may work. It may be legit, and it's legit. It worked. past 20 years, I've been focused solely on catfish, but now that I have a glove that I can trust, it opens up the door to all other kinds of species, like bowfin, gar, piranhas. What's a bowfin? The way I fish is very similar to noodlers. You know, they go down the bank, they look for these holes. You know, I go down the bank looking for a five or six pounder, either on a bed or, or chasing bait or bluegill. I love looking for the fish, seeing the fish. So then when I heard about the noodlers using the Berkeley Power Bait noodling glove, I said, hey, this might work really well for me. You know, they thought it was crazy when I told them I was gonna fish these tournaments out of a John boat, <laughs> and then, then that I wasn't gonna put any electronics on it. But, you know, I stayed shallow and and uh, hunted the fish and just made it work. That's why I'm super excited about this right here. The power bait noodling glove. When in doubt, green pumpkin's the color to definitely throw. Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my gosh, noodling's not for just catfish anymore. So when I saw these bass pros out here like John Cox, Noodling for bass, I was like, there's no way. Noodling used to just be for catfish, but with this glove, you can noodle for anything. Hey, 
you know, for me, trout fishing has never been so much about catching the fish. It's really more about finding the fish, understanding the environment, and just getting to know the beauty of the place that they live. And at the end of the day, that's why I switched to the power bait noodling love. You know, I've always said that life's kind of like a river. Sort of ebb and flow, long pools, deep rapids. And at the end of the day, you all kind of end up in the same place. I've been ice fishing my whole life, and I heard of those guys noodling down south with the power bait noodling glove, and I thought I'd give it a shot up here, and I'm quite surprised the damn thing kicked ass. And we're gonna put on the noodling glove. Nobody knows about it. You can use it in all kind of ways, but wacky rig noodling glove. I remember in the 80s when power bait came out, total game changer. This glove, new revolution. I don't like to overload my rod, so I come back here and I throw it sidearm. All right, you see how the fingers stick up? Pop those fingers. It's the rave. You know, when that thumb comes out like a hitchhiker, that's when they get out. Hunting has always been about the harvest. But now my goal has changed. I'm trying to get as close as possible. And this noodling glove allows that. I'm looking for nose to fingers. Maybe they lick the glove. That's the hunt. It's, or I think to an outsider, someone who's not involved in the sport, they think of it as something maybe poor people do or people who haven't got any sense, uh, hillbilly people. But you know, there, there are people who just try it because they're open-minded and love it. People from all different backgrounds and all different you know, levels of life.